Astronomers observe the birth of a new system it's a planetary. Astronomers have spotted about 1,300 years lights from Earth the birth of a new planetary system. Thanks to the ALMA telescopes and WEBA observed formation around a sun-like star the first particles of material from which the planets will be created in the future. It is up to five first identification of the planetary system at such an early stage of formation I'm I'm Around the young star hops 315, about 1300 away light years, small clusters of hot minerals were observed, which, according to astronomers, eventually they will form a planetesimal grains, around which new planets will grow. Research on this emerging planetary system they can shed more light on the process of planet formation, as well as for the beginnings of our solar system. The results and description of the research appeared in the journal Nature. Pops 315 is a young star with a mass of about 60 the percentage of the sun's mass, but it is still growing. In a million years, it should reach mass close to the mass of our star. Astronomers hope HOPS 315 will help understand the early years of the solar system. For the first time we identified the earliest moment, in which the formation of planets begins around a star other than the Sun said Melissa McClure from Leiden University in the Netherlands, first author of publications. We see a system that looks like the solar system it looked like it was when it started to form added her friend Meryl Van Tiehoff with Purdue University in the USA, co-author of the paper in Nature. By observing the environment of other stars, more or less we know how planets form. The stars themselves form from dense clouds of gas and the dust. When this cluster of matter reaches enough mass, it collapses under the influence of gravity, creating the embryo of the star. Matter around a young star it swirls and drives its growth. When a star gets big enough, it emits the winds that push matter beyond its reach. This is the beginning of the formation process there are planets. This matter then creates a protoplanetary disk, in which planetosimi, the seeds of planets, are beginning sound. They capture matter from the disk is getting bigger. Astronomers have observed before the formation of young planets in protoplanetary disks. They leave them noticeable gaps in disk matter. Infant worlds gravitationally purifying its its own orbits. But the process of formation of planetary systems is not fully he is known. There are many stages that need further observation in the modeling. The planets observed so far have been well formed. In the HOPS 315 case is a previous stage. Scientists have long been looking for a system that it would help us understand the origins of our solar system. To find a young version of our solar system elsewhere, Merrill said. Van T. Hoff. The young star in the constellation of Orion is oriented to the Earth in such a way that astronomers could see the surrounding disk of gas and dust. It's a rare sight. Streams of the gas emitted by a newborn star often obscures a hot disk, but the HOPS 315 drive it is fully visible. Observing hot minerals around HOPS 315, researchers they spotted silicon oxide in a gaseous form, often found in hot ones the protoplanetary environment. They also saw silicon oxide in the form crystalline minerals, which is a sign of cooling or solidification of silicon from the gas phase to the solid state. Over time, these minerals will merge and form first planetesimal and then the planet. This process has never been seen in the disk before. Protoplanetary not anywhere outside our solar system, Edwin explained. Bergen from the University of Michigan. Researchers found that this process occurs at a distance of about 2.2 astronomical units from a star. 
In our solar system in this the asteroid belt is located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter.